Today I'm going uh, to put uh, some asparagus uh, under the microscope and we're going to look at the cellular structure. Well, first of all, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, of all possible vegetables, why exactly <laughs> asparagus? The reason is, is because uh, it is a so-called a monocot plant and by looking at it under the microscope or rather by looking at the stem cross section under the microscope, we're able to see the typical arrangement of the vascular bundles of a monocot plant. That's uh, that's quite a mouthful and I think uh, I need uh, to explain this. Um, monocot plants are those uh, plants uh, that have a first uh, one single first leaf. So when the, they grow out of a seed, uh, then there is one single first uh, leaf and dicot plants, in, in contrast, uh, they have uh, two first leaves. That's actually one difference, uh, but uh, other differences can be seen um, under the microscope. And I'm gonna show you first uh, how you can compare, um, yeah, um, how he can prepare, not compare, but rather prepare um, um, yeah, an asparagus. And here it's way too big, so I had to make it smaller and then using a sharp razor blade and my microtome, um, I was able to cut uh, very thin um, sections um, of the stem of uh, the asparagus. Now, uh, dicot plants um, and monocot plants differ all in other ways. Um, and that would be, for example, simply the way that the leaves look like. We're not going to look at the leaves today, but uh, at, the, at the stem. Uh, monocot plants generally have uh, very slender and long leaves and the, the vascular bundles, the veins of the leaf are parallel. Dicot plants, in contrast, uh, they have uh, broad leaves. So when you go out and for example, when you see grass, for example, or corn, um, then these are all monocot plants and the leaves are long um, um, and slender. So um, yeah, here I'm preparing. Uh, it uh, takes a little bit of uh, time to be patient here. Um, the more often you try to make a cut, uh, the more higher the chance um, that you're going to be successful. And then this is how it looks under the microscope. So let's uh, jump directly um, at a low magnification. And what we see here is, is we already see the so-called vascular bundles. And I need to explain this here a little bit. So I've got an arrow over here. Um, of course, all of those little circles here um, that you see here, these are of course um, all of the individual cells. You can see that um, the cut that I've made with a microtome is nice and thin. Um, so the cells are quite well defined. They're not so many overlapping structures and all of those little structures structures here that you see these are the so-called vascular bundles and this is, these are the cells where substances are transported up and down the plant and uh, simply by looking at this I can already tell you well actually I can confirm that what I already knew um, the, uh, the asparagus is a monocot plant it has one single leaf when it comes out um, on, of, of the seed um, and the reason why um, I know that is simply by the way that these vascular bundles are scattered or arranged uh, inside the asparagus and they're scattered all throughout the stem as you can see here um, and yeah of course uh, here is again uh, the arrow here um, yeah here are the vascular bundles and they're scattered all uh, throughout uh, the stem um, and that is a typical arrangement of a, of a monocot plant. Now uh, there are two types um, of uh, cells that I would like to talk about here and I need to pause the video again here um, and those uh, two types of cells um, are um, the so-called xylem and the phloem here again we have, you see those large uh, cells um, here on, on, um, on the outside here, on the periphery here, uh, that's so-called so xylem. And the xylem, these are cells that transport water and minerals from the roots up at the plant. Um, it's a passive process. This means that uh, uh, this happens uh, by process of transpiration. Um, so capillary action, for example, plays um, plays a role here. But there is no um, additional energy input needed. And here in the center here, this here is the so-called the phloem. And phloem cells are responsible for transporting nutrients from the leaves down to the roots. So the products of photosynthesis. And that's a that's an active process. Uh, this requires energy. Yeah. Um, so we have got this xylem and phloem and the whole thing here that is referred to as the vascular bundle and simply by looking at how these vascular bundles are arranged in the stem this tells us quite a bit of whether it's a, a dicot or a monocot and here quite nicely we're able to see it again you see that the vascular bundles are scattered throughout um, the stem. Yeah, and it's a, a typical monocot uh, arrangement. Now you're gonna say, okay, if this is a monocot, what about a dicot? I have a cross section of a sunflower, a sunflower here. It's also, I think, a very beautiful, um, it's one of my first images that I made. And here you can also see the vascular bundles, but they're now um, arranged in a circle. So they're usually on the outside. Um, and in the center here um, on top, um, you do not find those vascular bundles. Here again, you see that those, uh, yeah, xylem and phloem are here um, arranged uh, 
um, on the outside, on the periphery of the stem. Um, and that is a typical die cut um, uh, arrangement. But I've, uh, um, in a second or so, I'm just going to show you a general overview image as, um, um, as well. Um, yeah, here that's the overview image. Yeah, you see that the center in here it does not contain those vascular bundles. Again, it's a sun sunflower, okay? And, and they are all here on, on the side, a typical die cut um, arrangement. Yeah, so you see that the next time when you go out and when you look at, uh, um, yeah, some plants, then you can already, some flowering plants rather, then you can already think of other monocot or dicots. And if you're not sure, then you can always put them under the microscope. So there's only one last thing for me to do, of course, and that is, is to prepare lunch. Uh, so yeah, here, here, that's the asparagus. And uh, this is... Uh, basically then this was my lunch a few days ago. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope it was interesting for you. A little bit of biology today again. Uh, do leave your comments uh, behind in the comments section. Of course, I also would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel. Um, yeah, I wish you all the best. A happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.